All right, welcome back, Pictator Films. This time we have 2017 Halloween Howler. The top four pros paired up with four random from a random drawing. We have Cameron Colglazer and Lazarus. We also have Matty O and Brad Fillingham. Next up, it's gonna be Eric Oakley and Eric Day. And finally, we got Michael Flory and Brooks Newell. This is gonna be a good show, and so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show, and we'll get this party started. Okay, this is Lazarus partnering up with Cameron Colglazer. He's an advanced player all the way from Hawaii just to play this tournament. How awesome. All right, next up we got Cameron Colglazer looking to put a smash on it. And he lets off a bomb. All right, Brad Fillingham, mobile player. You always see him at the Haller. Partnering up with Matty O. Should make for a really good team. See what they can do. Matty O puts it up. Pulls a little more right than he was hoping. They're trying to make it through that pavilion you see down there. So he needs to be lined up. Just a little out of position. See what they can do. All right, Eric Day doing what Eric Day does. Okay, his partner Eric Oakley found his way to Mobile on a little road trip heading up north. He made it to the skins match on his own. Third place overall. Well done. He puts out a nice drive, puts it right in the middle where you want to be. Brooks Newell. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Okay, next up we got Michael Flory from Pensacola, Florida. He fourth place overall. He was hoping for a little more turnover, but he'll be up there fairway. Okay, he looks like he's trying to put down a roller, trying to make it through the pavilion. Just misses the Mando. So they'll still have a chance to come through it. Second try at it. It was a good release, just got a little too far. Okay, Brad Fillingham. Also gets it a little too far right, misses the Mando. Matty O's gonna want to try to get this one through it. There's not enough turnover on it at all. Hydra's out on him. All right, Eric Day. Hulk smash. He makes the Mando and gets some. All right, they'll be looking for looking at a three from there. Eric Oakley wanted to do the same thing, maybe get a little farther. Whew. Cleans it. Yeah, he just misses the Mando and goes OB in the water. Cameron Colglazer throwing that moonshine spark. And he makes it through the Mando. Out the side of it. Still counts, but they'll take it from there. Yeah. Matty O and Brad are going to be looking to try to knock down a four from right there. They're hoping for a couple of big putts. See what they can do. All right, we got Lazarus up. He put the the hook on that too. It throws it just a little far. Camera cold glazer a little more accurate. And lays it up. You want to make sure that four is secure, I guess. All right, Brad Fillingham. For four. Splash down. See what Matteo can do. Goes the hyzer out. And also securing the four. Yeah, 
He was thinking about it. Just uh, not enough pull on it. Got a lefty over the water. He was gunning it. Everybody else was laid up already for four. So we got our last chance uh, for someone to get a three on this hole. Take the skins. Let's see if Eric Day can do it. He puts it up. Ooh, just right. He really wanted that one. He's got a pretty good partner here. Uh, maybe they can clean it up. Puts it up. And off the top of the basket. Ah. Oh. Well, the hole pushes. They really wanted that one, but there are more, more chances coming up. All right, I had a really bad angle over here. I just want to make sure I was out of their way and I had a good view toward the gap in the woods there. So, uh, so it'll be fine. We'll be able to see some good shots. Matteo gets a little right. You can't see it from here, but he makes it all the way through the woods pretty much. All right, that's a nice one right there on the, the edge of the wood line. From the angle they are, it's a really difficult shot. I mean, you're talking about a straight turnover the whole way. And if you get any kind of hyzer coming around that corner, it's going to do that every time. It's just going to keep going left and be way out of position. I would say that the, the layup play is to take like a putter or mid-range and throw probably to the edge of the wood line, right there where you can see that hole, and then throw straight from there. Cause you're just a better angle. Um, Cause like I said, if you go too far or too left, too far right or left, you're um, yeah, you're not gonna be looking at anything reasonable. Okay, now everybody's trying to make it through the gap and uh, carry the fairway for another about 250 feet. Yeah, Mike. Go, go. All right, yeah, so Cameron Colgraver gives it a good look at it. He, he didn't have the best look, but he had probably had uh, the most reasonable look, should I say. Over here, we got Brad and Matteo in the woods. Matteo throws up a roller, gets it out. And he clears the fence. They're going to be looking at about 45, 50 feet for three. Not bad job. And we got Eric Day here throwing his third shot. Hey, Him and uh, Eric got a little bit of work to do, but not too bad. Okay. All right, they were hoping to get a little closer. But this is a very difficult hole, so you can't blame them for trying to... All right, let's see if Eric can put this in. He's got a claymore on a forehand line. There's a lot of touch involved in that shot. No. And he smacks it. Cameron Colglazer looking to get around this tree, put it in. Throws it up. Oh. Just left of it. Well, everybody's looking to put it in because we got a group over here putting at it for three. This could be for two skins, yeah! and he does it. Yeah! Give him the Shady Ray flashback for two skins. $200 for the team, $100 each. Count it, boy. Okay, this hole is going to be an out-of-the-woods turnover shot. Uh, they're looking not to turn over too much. 
and definitely not go too far left. Eric puts up a great shot, but like I said, you don't want to flex out because that went straight OB. Everybody else is going to look to either forehand this hole or just throw a turnover shot and hope that it doesn't fade off. All right, that's about as safe as you can get it right there. Keeping it up and letting it go right. You'll be putting toward the water, but at least your drive will be safe. Give you that option of whether you need to go for it or not. Okay, we got the lefty here. Throwing it into the woods as well. So even though it's not the ideal shot, it's the it's the most thrown shot on this on this hole right here. The majority of them all went into the woods. Some form or another. Okay, like this one right here. Just turns it over. It's still got the wood line. Cameron Kogler is just throwing that uh, goby. A lot of glide in it. Just enough turn. It catches the tree. He stays in bounds. So he'll have a look for, five for two from the back side of the bush. Uh, he put it up. He wanted it. Just not enough air underneath it. And that one, he's expecting a headwind, and it just drops out from underneath. Matty O's got a chance here for two. And just get too much air. All right, now we got two teams in the woods here, hoping for some kind of miracle. Eric Day. Uh, you can tell the woods, but maybe not far enough. Hopefully Eric Oakley can get him some love here. Okay, Brooks Noel out of the woods. Gives his partner the go-ahead. Now right, we got Michael Flory from deep inside the woods on a knee. Looking to get that two and take the skins. Yeah! And he does it. <laughs> Next hole is coming up. We got a, another triple mando. They're throwing from across the water through the pavilion to the basket on the outside, probably about 20 or 30 feet outside. You have to make it through the double mando, triple mando. Okay, we're waiting for somebody to make it. At this point, all they got to do is probably lay it up to the edge and get a three. Everybody's throwing past it. Cameron Coglazer. Ooh, just short. He's not going to be able to have a look through it, but possibly a three chance. And he overthrows it as well. Wrong basket. Okay, Matteo, what can he do? Nails it. He'll have a decent look at it, like a throw in for two, but it's not gonna be the easiest look. Eric Day, monster in it through. He smashes it, makes the mando. He'll have about 40 foot for his two. Eric Oakley, his partner. Oh, also has a smooth shot through it, but he threw it probably about 60, 70 deep. Now all the teams are trying to put it in or at least get close enough to put the pressure on for the three. Matty, oh, smashes the basket. He'll skip off about 40 feet. He'll have that left for a par. Everybody else is hoping to get a long par from through the pavilion. Now, Lazarus thought he was going to the back basket and completely overthrew it. So we got one chance here by Cameron Coglazer to knock down a three to put the pressure on. 
Yeah, just a little past it. All right, now all they're trying to do is make this Mando and get a chance at a putt. And he does. He skims the right side of that Mando, makes it around, and he'll have that left for three. Okay, this is Matteo cleaning up for three. And just left. All right, so next up we got Eric Day for birdie. Count it. It hung on to it, giving that shady Ray bag on flashback for one skin. Bag on the back. Taking it down. Let's go, dude. Oh, yeah. All right, we're coming up to the last two holes. All right. We need some teams that haven't got any yet to try to get their name on the board. Everybody's turning this over. They're throwing to the red basket on the other side of the lake. Everybody's just putting a little too much right on it. They're, they don't want to go in the water. Matteo puts up a big turnover shot. It's coming around and just gets right past the basket. He'll have a look for two over there. All right, Eric Day, the Wonder Boy, puts it up. And that disc is flying nicely. It looks like it's going to ace. And drops right by the pin. He'll have about an eight footer for Birdie. His partner's loving it. He's like, I don't even have to do anything. Eric Oakley looking to smash a forehand. Mm, all right, he was hoping for an ace, but he'll still have a look. I'm pretty sure they're gonna go with Eric Days, but that was still a nice throw. All right, the lefty. This is anybody's kind of hole. Didn't quite make it though. Brooks no. Got more of a layout shot there from Brooks <laughs> to make sure they had a safe run at it. This is them coming across the water. And he lays up for three. All right, this is for two. Hmm, just a little high. Can Cameron Coglazer clean up a two? And he catches that tailwind as well. Matteo for the push. Can he do it? Count it. What order did they get? It's more what it is. Pretty much. I got you, partner. Let me do something, please. All right, now we're going to tap in there, Birdie, just for. Me good measurements. All right, we get the high fives going on to the last hole. This is probably about a 1,200 foot par five across the entire field. This is the signature finishing hole for the final skins. A lot of holes change. This one is not one of the many ones that do change. It's just such a long bomber, puts everything you got into it to make it down there. See Matteo throwing a good 450 foot roller to set up a nice approach shot you're gonna see a lot of rollers a lot of hyzers to get on the left side yeah heads up but roller if you're trying to get the most distance on this hole is probably the best way to go it allows for um a more of a right finish so that way you have more of the fairway to work with playing the left side it puts you too close to the trees so that can play an effect but as you see you'll watch eric oakley and eric day uh they're going to play from the left side to show you how that's done. Uh, we're going to have a lot of good shots coming up. Let's see what we got. I want to see an epic finish here. Okay, same for Brooks. 
putting down that roller right in the middle of the fairway. They'll have clean looks for their approach shots. Even the lefty's going with the roller, so you know it's a roller hole. And he'll play from the left side of the fairway also. Yep, crowd always comes in effect when you got these um, final skin matches or the final nines with the big gallery. There's always going to be a, um, a spectator. And spectators down here definitely know how to dodge a disc. I, I feel like they're very, very used to it with all the finals we have down here. All right, Cameron Kogledge looking to smash this one, get it all the way up the fairway. And he short arms it right into it. Let's see if the hero today can make another miracle shot. He keeps it safe, keeps it away from the woods. That's probably smart. Now Eric Oakley can throw a big giant hyzer. I'm sure that's what he's prone to doing. And Sonic Smash. Yeah, buddy. Woo! It's up there! And he'll have a straight look at the pin. Got Brooksy taking the roller out. Just doesn't get enough turnover on it. It's going to cut into the woods. They probably won't have the best look from over there. Michael Flory gets it all the way down there. <laughs> Matt, you're looking to go over the top of everything and hits the playpen. Oh man, he is not feeling good about that one. Luckily, nobody was hurt in the filming, so we're thankful for that. That was a great upshot, but he's still going to be probably about 100 away from the pin for his four. We got Brooks and Michael Flory looking to get a four as well. This is their third shot. Brooks, he just turns it over a little bit. Michael Flory has all the distance to reach this hole. He's caught throwing a turnover mid range, it looks like. Puts himself in prime real estate. Now, uh, Matteo and Brad are both close enough where they could have the possibility to reach it. Brad just saws it off a little bit. Let's see what Matteo can do. All right, he's got it high enough. It's coming in nicely. All right, y'all, they'll have about 25 left for four. Bam! That was an impressive shot. I bet if you asked him to do that again, he won't be able to do it. All right, Eric said, I'm going to take the smart route. I'm just going to throw it around everything. Mm -hmm. Come on, baby. And that he does. Look at this. Oh, so close to an eagle. That would definitely take him the skins. Okay, we got a layup here by Lazarus. I don't know why, because they need to go for this one. Cameron's looking to put it in. This will be 4-4. Four, four. Mm. 
just a little left. And Brooksy, he wanted that so bad. We need this for our four. Oh, wow. They're leaving it up to Eric. And of course, bag on and everything. That is a great bag on putt to save for. Not even sweating. All right, can Matteo push it? Of course he can. Count it all day. There you go. There's our finals. Hope you all enjoyed. See you all next time.